Libra, what is up my friends? It's Tina <coughs> coughing at you live. All right, <coughs> excuse me. It's Tina from Trust and Truth Tarot. What is crack a in Libra? What's going on? What's popping? I haven't talked to you guys in so long, like so long, it's been forever. Okay, so we're gonna be doing your April 2019 general and or love forecast. We'll see what the cards have to say. All right. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you would like to subscribe, we would absolutely love to have you here. This is a very friendly place. It's probably the friendliest place on YouTube. My comment section is lovely, especially with my Libras. They're beautiful people. Um, I myself am a Libra ascendant, so sis, what's up? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, spirit guides in the universe. This reading is for the zodiac sign of Libra, sun, moon, and rising. Uh, please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you so much. All right. Here we go, Libra. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get into it. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my readings, for general readings, I do a nine card spread. It's gonna be three cards for your recent past, three for your present, and three for your near future. I also clarify, do a bottom of the deck overview, all kinds of fun stuff. Also this month, as an added bonus, we're doing extended readings over on Vimeo. That reading will be linked down below. All right, so Libra. Sun, moon, and rising. Libra, Libra, Libra. What's going on in the recent past for Libra? Splitting the deck, Libra. Wow. Is that a blast from the past or what? But what's what, what's going on, Libra? There's a... Well, okay. So two, two scenarios here. Three. All right? So we got somebody or something from the past returning to your life. Off the bat. Okay? We'll clear that up. Now, the Knight of Pentacles can be a few different things. One, it could be an Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Two, it can be something coming at you fast, right? This knight is a knight, but he is the slowest moving knight in the deck. He literally is slower than a snail, okay, which is very difficult for a Libra to deal with, I know. Um, this means things are speeding up when he's reversed like that, okay? The other thing, the third option would be, and it could be a combination of the three, the other option might be that uh, somebody's coming in from the past or you're going back to someone from the past, but there's not real stability there. Okay, so it's not a solid, solid offer for some of you. Okay, so apply it to your situation. All right, let's see what's going on. Libra, Libra, Libra. Recent pass for Libra, please. Recent pass for Libra. Ooh, what have we here? Oh, somebody's dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's pissed. <laughs> let's see what else is going on. Ooh, feeling overburdened, overstressed, overworked, overtaxed, over everything. Oh, Libra. <laughs> oh, boo. What's crack a lock and what's going on? Why are you reversed? That's you, Libra, Justice. Totally reversed. Oh, something had you up in a tizzy. Okay, let's keep going. Present energy for Libra, please. Present energy for Libra. Oh, snap. Where's your soulmate, Libra? What's going on? Breakup? Ooh, money looks good though. Present energy, 10 of pentacles, seven of coin reversed. You're not working on something anymore. What? <gasps> Near future, seven of swords, Libra. Ah, ace of pentacles reversed, three of coin reversed. Holy guacamole. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna clarify all this too, so don't go anywhere, this could change. Okay, some of you guys definitely dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. We got wands and wands up here, okay? It doesn't have to be, though. This could have been an argument. Pages or messengers, wands reversed are usually very passionate, pissed off messages. So it's like, you know, fighting, fighting, fighting. Um, angry words, okay? Not severe. I mean, it could be for some of you, but not super severe. We've got other cards that would tell me it's like super severe, but this just means like, Somebody's upset, right? Maybe saying things they don't mean um, or saying things they definitely mean because they're pissed, okay? Now we have the Ten of Wands next to that feeling just like you have too much on your plate, Libra. Too much on your plate. Um, you know, the, the weight of the world on your shoulders. It's just a very heavy energy, okay? You're overburdened. A lot of people are depending on you. Um, you just have a lot going on, okay? And then Justice Reversed. Something imbalanced, okay? So that's Libra's card, but also the scales are not right, okay? So everything's not running very smoothly for Libra, okay? There's something that's not fair happening or you're carrying the brunt of the weight. 
you know, uh, something along those lines. For some of you, it could be a legal matter, um, could be divorce, could be a lawsuit, could be really anything, but it could be the court system as well. Maybe, maybe you're feeling stressed out about that. That'll be for a small portion of you, but imbalanced for sure, okay? Rarely stressed out. Now in the present energy, Libra, we got the two of cups reversed. Dang it, dang it, Bobby, what's going on? You know, it's a breakup. It's somebody that you really at one point cared about a lot, two of cups, you know, offering each other cups of love and it's like no more, no more offering anything. But Libra, this is also you pulling back, you know, really pulling back from a situation that was really stressing you the hell out, okay? Now we have the 10 of coin, family issues, okay, that's a card of home and family. Um, it's also a card of abundance and money, okay? Some of you could be doing great financially but not so great on the love front, okay? Career looks good but maybe relationships don't. Um, some of you guys are maybe focused on children right now, um, pets, parents, things like that, okay? We'll clarify it. Seven of Pentacles reversed. It's like you've been working, 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 doing something the same way your whole life and you stop. You're stopping. You're not doing it that way anymore. Now, for some of you, this will be work, okay? We have the Three of Pentacles reversed right at the bottom. This is the card of work, okay, employment. So um, it could be that you're, you're shifting jobs, okay? Um, for some of you. For others of you, it's like you've been working so hard at something and it just was not getting you where you wanted to be. It's like you're putting in all this effort over and over and over again. It's like the definition of insanity, right? You keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result and you're not getting a different result and some of you are like, whoa, I see the lights. And I know that's true. I know it. I've seen the light. I know what's up, you know? I, get, I feel you, Libra. So, I mean, you know, it is the definition of insanity, right? If we keep hammering away at something, I'm gonna pick them up, I'll put me upright for you so you can see. Hammering, 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 and then it's like, but what am I working so hard for? Reversed, you know? So you're either pulling back from that energy, or, I mean, you just realize that something, is, the way you've been doing things is not working out, okay? Now in your near future, Libra, we got, a, we got some deceit, some treachery, okay? Some pillaging going on in the village. What is happening? All right, so Seven of Swords, this is this is a sneaky, sneaky card, okay? Um, taking something that doesn't belong to you, lying, stealing, okay, cheating. Um, somebody might be trying to like, it could be you or somebody you're dealing with, Libra, you know, trying to uh, sneak and get away with something, leaving those two swords behind, not, a, not able to make a decision. That's what the Two of Swords is. It's a crossroads. Ay vey. I digress. Ace of Pentacles reversed, a lack of stability. Okay, somebody's pulling back on the stability. Could be financially too. If you're supporting someone or someone is supporting you, Libra, if there's issues in this love relationship, okay, it could be like, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off that debit card. You know, cutting somebody off on the finance, financial side of things. And then we have the three of coin reversed. So um, again, some of you guys are changing jobs. You know I have to say what I have to say, Libra. Could be a third party situation, okay? So some of you could be dealing with a love triangle that's just not working out, all right? Somebody doesn't wanna be part of the triangle anymore. Let's clarify. All right, page of wands reversed for Libra in the recent past. Page of wands reversed. Four swords reversed. Somebody's very opinionated, very outspoken about something that they're very upset about, okay? That's the recent past. That's communication, okay? Ooh, eight of swords reversed. Libra, you're like breaking free or somebody around you is breaking free from something you felt very trapped, very trapped in before mentally. Justice reversed, six of cups reversed. It's totally a relationship or something from your past, something you've been dealing with for a long time, okay? Could be a soulmate too. You got two silhouette cards, both reversed. Two of cups reversed for Libra, the world, culmination, everything coming full circle. For some of you, you're leaving the soulmate behind because there's a great, big, beautiful world out there for you to see and you're about to go see it. Ten of pentacles, but that's also manifesting a beautiful life, you know, what you want. Ten of pentacles, the lovers, oh my God. Okay, so this could be a choice or a decision that could definitely be, could be a Gemini that you're dealing with Libra. Wow, holy cronolis. Some of you are leaving something behind. You see how this is manifesting? Check it out. Six of cups, two of cups, reverse, reverse, relationship, relationship from the past, leaving that shit behind and you walk straight into soulmateville. Okay, seriously. 
um, divine guidance. It's like you're brought together with somebody. You may have met somebody and it became third party because maybe you weren't prepped for this. You didn't expect it. Something like that, okay? Ooh, I got the Eight of Cups at the bottom. Ooh, leaving the, some of you are leaving the past behind so you can go into the new. Oh my God, the Four of Wands. Okay, I have to stop doing the bottom of the deck. We're gonna go on Vimeo crazy over there. Two of Pentacles reverse, making a decision to leave something behind that's not working out. And again, it could be your job, but again, it could be a relationship. Apply it to your situation. Seven of Swords. Oh shit. Sagittarius energy, temperance reversed. So again, you caught somebody lying or somebody caught you lying or cheating or sneaking and temperance reversed is a very angry energy, okay? <laughs> somebody may need to be healing from that, but also, um, you know, for some of you, it's like you're sneaking around because you're impatient and you can't wait to get out of a relationship or somebody around you is doing that, okay? Others of you, temperance, she is patient, she's healing, she's very, she's very tranquil energy. So when I see her like that reverse, it makes me feel like, oh, like chaos and madness, okay? And that's in the near future, so watch out, Libra. Ace of Pentacles reversed, ah, fighting, Five of Swords, fighting over money, it's quarreling, arguing, pettiness, okay? Three of Pentacles reversed, Five of Cups reversed, oh my God. It's like something didn't work out and you're not even sad about it. Could be work, could be a relationship, whatever the case may be. Libra, I am gonna pick this up over on Vimeo. We are gonna look at several things, okay? First and foremost, I wanna look at this dead center of your reading, that 10 of Pentacles and the Lovers, because that's insane, okay? That's obviously something very beautiful culminating for you uh, behind the scenes here. Secondly, I wanna look at the breakup. And thirdly, I wanna look at, if this is a work situation, I wanna look at what's going on with that. So finances, I'm gonna take a separate look at. So we're gonna look at this new energy here in the present energy, Ten of Pentacles, the lovers. We're gonna look at the past energy, the breakup, whatever's coming back around, okay? Um, and then we're gonna also take a look at finances for you guys and career, because if for some of you, this is gonna apply career-wise. So it, if you're looking for that, you'll find it over on Vimeo as well. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. Again, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We'd love to have you here. Please feel free to share this video on any of your other social media platforms. Uh, also, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can reach me at trustintruthtarot at gmail.com. Uh, thank you so much. Have a beautiful month of April. Mwah! I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.